Welcome to this short tutorial video on using the different layouts for the WebDoc in Wavebox. In this tutorial, you will learn how the WebDoc works and why it's central to fast navigation. You'll discover the different WebDoc layouts and their main features. Learn how to use the WebDoc to organize groups, apps, and tabs and discover the many customization options available in settings. So let's get started. You can switch between the two WebDoc layouts using the mode icon top left. When you first start Wavebox, the WebDoc is in list layout, and you can switch to the Explorer layout at any time using the icon. This is the list layout. All your groups are displayed as rounded squares down the side. Apps in the group are shown along the top toolbar, with tabs in the tab strip alongside. You can arrange your groups between dividers. Dividers are just lines that your group icons will collapse into to save space in the dock. You can drag the dividers to reposition them, and only the dividing line will move and not the groups under them. Right-click on a divider to rename it. To create a new divider, right-click on the group, just where you want the divider to appear above. Then select the Add Divider option and give your divider a label. You can quickly collapse and expand all your dividers by shift-clicking on the WebDoc mode icon. Next, drag the WebDoc to resize the icons and expand it to show the group names. You can right-click on the group icon and directly edit the name, change the border color, and customize with your own icon. To rearrange the order of your groups, just drag them. You can also merge groups by dragging one over another. Click on Merge to confirm the move, then click on the Merge group to see the combined apps and tabs in the top toolbar. The list layout offers a simple structure that can be easily customized with titles, colors, and icons. It has groups down the side for easy navigation, apps and tabs in the top toolbar for each group, dividers to collapse group icons and save space, and has draggable icons so you can easily reorganize things. This layout offers fast navigation for any type of workflow. Now let's take a look at the Explorer layout. To switch to the Explorer layout, click on the WebDoc mode icon top left. This layout offers smaller group icons with titles, with apps and tab also in the sidebar rather than along the top. Hover over a group and click on the down arrow to expand out the group apps. Then hover over an app and click on the down arrow to expand out the tabs. Like in the list layout, every tab has a tooltip menu that includes a real-time thumbnail and other shortcuts. Explorer layout is perfect for organizing tabs, and you can even use folders to keep a set of them tidy. Click on the Add icon to create a new tab. Then navigate to the page you need, so that appears in the dock alongside other tabs in that folder. Hover over the tab to show the tooltip menu and click on the tab title directly to rename it, hitting Return key to save your changes. The tooltip menu also includes other shortcuts like sleep and split screen. And you can also pin a tab so that it moves to the top of the list and mute it in a single click. Try dragging tabs to move them and use the right click menu to create a new folder. You can name your folder and choose a color for it to aid navigation. You can drag tabs into a folder and rearrange their order. You can also drag tabs between folders, apps, and groups, just like this. And when you switch back to list layout, you will see the new tab in the tab strip at the top of the main page. You can also drag and drop tabs between groups, like this. No matter where you place your tabs, you will always be able to see them in both list and explorer layouts with many waveboxers switching between the two as they work to take full advantage of all the features. And finally, when it comes to finding your tabs, 
Head over to the global search where you can enter a keyword and find anything you need in just a few seconds. The powerful tree style nested folder capabilities of the Explorer layout is perfect for anyone who needs to manage many tabs. Apps and tabs are shown in the web doc with no tab strip in the main window. You can use arrows to expand and collapse groups, apps, and tab folders. The nested tab folders will help you stay organized and is therefore ideal for heavy tab users. Now let's take a quick look at what's available in settings for the web doc. Launch settings and scroll down to the web doc section under the heading appearance. First, you can toggle the auto hide so that the web doc is only shown when you hover over it. If you have lots of groups in the web doc, you can also choose to show a scroll bar so that nothing gets missed. And you can also change the size of your divider labels. You can also change how your group icon looks when it's in focus with six different options. Head over to the group's right-click menu to change group colors. You can also choose which icons are displayed at the bottom of the web doc. For focus mode, privacy lock, launching a new window and opening navigator. Just click on each to add or remove them. In the next section, there are options for groups and apps. When a group has just one app, you can choose not to show the tab strip by leaving the toggle off here. Next, you can choose circles or squares for your app icons and decide if you want to show which groups, apps, and tabs are sleeping by turning the icons gray. You also have the option to display a tab count badge on the group icon, which we know many waveboxers use as a to-do list. With so many customizable options, the web doc has the flexibility to help maximize your daily workflows. So let's recap. Many waveboxers frequently switch between layouts to take advantage of all the features, so try them both. If you manage lots of tabs, try using tab folders in Explorer. If you need to move something, just drag it. You can easily drag icons and tabs to rearrange them. Go to the web doc section in settings to get the web doc looking just how you want it. That's all for this tutorial. Follow us at wavebox.io for more tips and visit our blog and KB for more help and tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.